Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to handle the single exceptions in Python programming. So in the previous session, we have seen what is an exception and how the exceptions can be handled. So in the exception handling, we are mainly focusing on the four keywords that is try, except, else and final. So we have to write the instructions from which we are expecting the exceptions in the try block and whatever the exception raised in the try block will be handled in the except block. And if there are no exceptions raised from the try block, then the else block will be get executed. And irrespective of the exception occurrence, that means whether the exception is occurred or not occurred, so the finally block will be get executed. So this we have discussed in the previous session. Now we'll see how to handle the single exceptions. So in Python, generally the complete errors will be considered as a exceptions. And here, there is an exception which is nothing but a base class for all the exceptions, all other exceptions, right? So this is a base class. Exception is the base class for all the exceptions. And these are the normally uh, errors we'll get in the Python programming, a very few errors. There will be a lot of errors. And I have already explained about all these things in the previous session. I will post the link in the description. So just you go through that to get aware about all these errors. When we'll get the error. So if the error is occurred, then how to handle it? So that can be done in the exception handling and that should be written in the except block. So we'll, we'll execute the program and we'll see. So in this session, we'll see the zero division error as well as the index error. We'll, we'll check these two. So let us take the two inputs, a is equal to int of input enter value for a and similarly take another input. So int of input enter value for b, right? Now we need to apply the division operation. We need to apply the division operation and also we will we'll have a list, l is equal to some 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I will be having some list. Now we need to apply the division operation and we'll access one element from the list. So we can get the exception for the division operation if the denominator is zero. And we can get the list of index error if we are accessing the index which is out of range. So we'll write both in the try block because we need to write the instructions in the try block such that we may accept the expect the exceptions. So first one c is equal to a divided by b and print c. And similarly, similarly, we'll also print L of, so here we can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4 is the last index. So I'll access fifth index so that we'll get an exception, right? And except, except, so what we have to do here, we need to handle the exception. So as we have discussed just now, exception is a base class, right? So we need to use the exception here. So first of all, let us print this here, exception raised. Simply we can say exception raised, right? So I'll execute this one. Let us give the value 10. And if you give the denominator as zero, we'll get exception raised. And this statement will not be get executed, the third statement, because here itself we got the exception. Here itself we got the exception. And if you execute the same thing, 10 and two, there will be no exception like zero division error because the denominator is not zero but it will print c value and whenever the control executes the third statement in the try block then the exception will be raised because 5 is the index which is not in the range so then so if you execute the same thing so just just wait if you execute the same thing 10 and 2 so 5 is printed but when coming to this here the exception is raised and immediately that exception will be handled by the except block that means it will, the control move to the except block and it will be get executed. So if you want to know which type of exception is occurred, then simply use the base class exception as E. So whenever the exception is raised, that particular exception will be stored under E. So simply if you print E, we'll get the exception, what exception is raised in the instructions. For example, if you execute the same code, 
So if you give 10 and denominator 0, see we got the result as division by 0. So this is division by 0 exception occurred in the first line. Immediately that will be copied to E. The division by 0 is copied to E and if you print E automatically we will get the exception name which exception has been occurred and execute the same thing if you go with the 10 and 2 that here the denominator is not equal to 0 there is no exception there is no 0 division error but when executing the third line we will get the index out of range so execute this one execute this one see list index out of range so 5 was printed the output was printed but whenever you execute the third third instruction we will get a list index out of range so that exception will be copied to e right so this is another way and also we can give some default values and we can execute the accept block that means whenever the exception is raised immediately the control will execute the accept block so whatever the instructions we are giving in the accept block that will be get executed now here observe so i am giving so i am giving here if it is a zero division error i will give the default value as 1 so b is a denominator so i will give the default value as 1 and i will execute the same instructions a by b and print c okay and after that uh, just go with the access of 4 which is uh, valid 0 1 2 3 4 for last element so execute this one if you give 10 and 0 now we will not get any exception right so that means if you will get the exception but that exception will be handed by the accept block so if there is an exception occurred immediately the accept block will be executed now b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 10 by 1 will be executed you observe just see we got a 10 because whenever the exception is raised so here you can simply write down here so exception raised so using default value for denominator right so you can observe this one see if you give 10 and 0 it's a zero division error so immediately the accept block will be executed so exception raised and using default value for the denominator will be displayed and all these instructions will be get executed so you can observe here so exception raised and using default value for denominator so b is 1 and c is equal to a by b and print c right so hope you understood this one so if you want to i mean if you want to handle a particular exception you can also give the exception name here so you need to remember these exception names you need to remember these exception names so that whenever the exception is occurred then that particular block will be get executed so here we can simply pass zero division error so only the zero division error will be occurred right see if you execute this one so 10 and 0 so automatically this will be executed and if you access see i will give here index error index error right so if i execute this one sorry oh, okay 10 and 0 see the zero division error was not executed right was not handled because we are this we are writing this accept block only to handle the index error so we can mention the exception name so that that particular exception will only be handled by this accept block right so here we are getting the zero division error but we are writing the accept block for the for handling the index error so that's why it will handle only the index error so if you execute this one and see if you go with the 10 and 2 there is no zero by division so automatically the index error will be executed and the all the instructions will be got executed right so if you write here zero division error zero division error so if you execute and there is no zero division error okay there is no zero division error then the index error in the third instruction there is an index error which cannot be handled by the accept block because we are writing only the zero division error so this accept block can be used to handle only the zero division error so these many ways we can handle the single exceptions so we can simply implement the accept block so whatever the instructions you are writing in the accept block that instructions will be get executed
right so in the except block also we can pass the exception name so that only that particular exception will be handled by the except block and we can pass the base class of exception as variable so that if the exception is raised that exception will be copied to that variable name and if you print that name uh, print that variable we'll get the name of the exception raised right so hope you understood this one handling the single exception right so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, handling the single exception feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much